All right, guys, so uh, been talking about what you do in a survival situation and cattail fluff or non-charred material taking a spark. And I've never had it be successful without the charred material, uh, at least with the cattails. So I got a piece of chert here. I just found, got a big hunk of it that I broke this off of, flint and steel. And we're going to give it a go. Definitely see sparks landed on it. But it is not catching. Caught my finger. So, love to see someone actually be successful with this. Throw up your bids, boys. Shirt. Just regular front and steel. Or, you know, steel U. Cattail fluff. You can almost see it wants to do that flash, but... Yeah, if you didn't know, I'm a little obsessive compulsive, so... <laughs> so, there's got to be a way to make this work, man. See all those sparks. Give me some help, boys. All right, guys, so now we're moving on to the chew twine. <laughs> Very fibrous. I was hoping I had cotton balls at the house, and surprisingly, I don't. I usually keep a grip of them for classes and whatnot, but I'm going to keep on basically just. This is obviously generally, you know, like your traditional three ply jute twine. Like you can see here. And I broke it down into individual pieces. Just kind of breaking the fibers out like cotton and I'm gonna fill this whole bowl and try those rocks again. Stay tuned. All right guys, so the Jew twine, basically shredded it up, filled this whole thing full. It's basically like hair. And so while it's not quite natural fiber, I'm still just trying to push the limits to understand the value of flint and steel and the need to have charred material. I would prefer, obviously, to have an option to not have it because it may not be a resource that I'll have available. So, uh, I would like to do this inside, but my wife would drive me, uh, would not be very happy about that. So, I'm gonna take it in the garage, I guess, and at least then we'll have some dark light so you can see that what should hopefully be some fire raining down on this stuff and we'll see if we can get the jute time twine to light so hold tight all right first i'm gonna try just this shirt rock my regular fire steel see how it goes actually i'll try the baco first just uh, in case we get lucky It'd be cool to see the Baco work for a change. Here we go, guys. Here, let me... There. 
maybe you'll see me hitting the sparks a little better. Getting the sparks down in there quite awfully, but I am getting some in there. There you go, there you go. Oh, breaking some pieces off, but all in the name of bushcraft. And so, quite a few sparks. I'm gonna move off the baco. The flint and steel. Again, this is shredded jute twine. I have noticed I'm starting to get some oxidation on my stuff, but you can still see I'm getting plenty of sparks. Seems to be a little sharper. Oh, felt like I was gonna get something, guys. Usually, I use my stuff on the top of the rock and you know do more like that type of thing, where I'm a little more confident with that, but. Still seeing embers go down, or sparks go down in there, so I don't think it's just my technique. As Dave said, uh, I am beaten up by timber quite a bit because I don't have the technique down, but I feel like. in a survival situation this would definitely be more frustrating than a bow drill I mean obviously wet conditions are going to play a part and whatnot but just to show you I'm not completely mad here's my baco and I really like that start fire and well let's see if this juice you know too moist or something I'd say not so love to see you guys make some Make some flames, make some embers with some stuff directly out the landscape, non-charred. Can it be done? So, long day of practice today. Just um, a shirt rock and char cloth in the tin this time. You guys should hopefully see that. I already got a couple pieces lit, so. You know, while I don't have a great technique, it seems to work. So today I've tried cattail fluff, jute twine, cotton balls, which I didn't get videoed, but hopefully you can try that for yourself. I've tried pine basically fat wood fuzz in the past was not successful same thing with the inner bark of cottonwood I've not been successful with so you know overall my humble opinion is that you know flint and steel not a ferrocium rod or a mish metal but rocks and steel as Dave Canterbury kind of mentioned on a forum today, are really more useful for your second fire or if you can find some type of charred material in the area. If not, it makes a lot more sense to motion towards something more like a hand drill, bow drill, fire saw, fire plow, you know, depending on your area. Me in San Diego, I would definitely 
look for either the hand drill or bow drill. I've actually been pretty successful recently with the hand drill off the landscape, but more confident overall with the bow drill. But so in summary, you know, with the lack of heat that comes off of the sparks without some type of charred material to send it into, I am I don't believe trying to find natural tenders and using it as a source of fire is necessarily that prudent unless it's your second fire or that you have charred material at hand. So get to spinning those uh, pieces of wood, guys.